how many audio books have the library got roughly? Uh, well, it's several thousand. There's four million items in library stock right across the network. Are there? And as you know, the advantage of using a library within South End, Essex and Thurrock is that you can borrow from any library. Yes. So yes. you're not just reliant on the stock you see here. Yeah. Welcome to South End Library. Uh, my name is Simon Wallace and I'm the Community and Diversity Team Manager based within the Central Library. And we have the Central Library, around six branch libraries and the mobile service. They're one of the busiest library, public library services in the country. We also have resources specifically aimed at those people who have a sight problem or have a visual impairment. Those services range from RNIB talking book services through to large print material, PlayAway, which is a sort of MP3 portable uh, audio format player. We also have reading groups for visually impaired people. We hold events and activities. Um, to bring people to libraries who maybe wouldn't necessarily use them through our home library service as well as taking the library out to people through our mobile and through volunteers visiting them at home. I was an avid reader before I went blind. It was one of those things that I was reading a book at night and when I picked it up the next morning I couldn't see the page so you can imagine what it was like. As my sort of sight did deteriorate I thought that might be one of the hobbies I might not be able to do. One of the key services we offer to visually impaired people within South End is for the talking book service. And then the machine will end. This is an RNIB talking book. It's just something we offer as standard to any customer that maybe can't read ordinary print or is struggling to even read large print but want to continue enjoying uh, reading. So if you like, it gives them the best of both options. A postal service delivered direct to the door with digital format CD recordings, around 18,000 titles to choose from, but also the opportunity to use recordings borrowed through their library free of charge to listen at home. I listen to it at night, take my machine upstairs as we call it, and it sits on my tummy all night so that I can read. If I'm awake, I can switch it on and listen to it. Sometimes you forget to switch it off because you don't realise you've gone to sleep. But again, it's my comfort. It's an addiction now to have that machine in good working order. And it is a comforter because wherever you are in the house or even if you go away, you take it with you and you sit down and you just press the button and you're away listening to a story even if you do doze off. But what we do is also offer and invite people on free discovery tours of the library. Um, for many people, perhaps if they haven't been to a library for some time, they maybe have a kind of a stereotype vision of maybe what's, what's available. But by coming through the front doors again, and sometimes that can involve giving a bit of support to get people to come to the library, they realise how much libraries have changed and what services uh, are on offer and that maps they hadn't previously seen. One day we had a lecture by a lady who actually reads the audio books. Another thing we do, I do in the library, is I am brought here every Monday morning by my friend for the creative writing group. What I do enjoy is the weekly newsletter. It keeps you well in contact with local news, local happenings. I'd say anybody that is, is losing their sight is to join the, the uh, RNRB Talking Book Library and also join their local library. Sometimes when you think you're losing your sight, that's when you feel that you want to give up. And I don't think anybody should give up. I think they should carry on and do the best of their ability. But I thoroughly enjoy reading the books myself, so, and I keep and I keep my independence, but uh, I support the library all the way.